Wednesday, 1 p.m., live on City TV. This be football made in Ghana. My name is Nathan Kwa. This is the show where they discuss Ghana football issues, topical issues for Ghana football inside in Pigeon. So I beg if you get any message or if you get anything talk, take send me on 0550-585832. 0550-585832. Today we got more things talk. We're going to discuss the opening round of the new Ghana Premier League season, the best power Ghana Premier League. O only win... Has lose, we go discuss then in so because of course they play Kadiogo, they win number first leg one nil. How the second leg go go like they go fit qualify or Kadiogo go come Ghana can cause some problems. Then of course we go discuss the Ghana boys. Star boy Mohammed Kudus, Kamal Din, uh, Suleimana, then Kamal Soa. All the boys they shine for Europe, they, they score goals for them, a league inside Champions League. We go discuss them a progress and discuss what the way forward be for these boys, especially as the World Cup squad, they go name them not too long. From now, so if you get anything, tell me 0550 585832. That'll be the WhatsApp number, that'll be the text number. We go read all your messages before the show go close in like one hour. This will be football made in Ghana. We'll take some short break. If we come back, uh, the guys make ready, I make ready, you make ready, then we go roll out on the show. This will be football made in Ghana on CCTV. We'll go come back right in our back, just wedge. We will come back after a few minutes. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana on City TV. My name is Nathan Kwa. So like I talk, we get two major issues, really. Club football and the national team football. So we go discuss, of course, the new Ghana Premier League season. The best power Ghana Premier League. That be the new name they give them. So we go discuss that one. Like I, I talk, if you have anything, take, um, send me WhatsApp. 0550-585832. 0550-585832. We go discuss the Ghana Premier League first. And then later, we go discuss... The Ghana boys, some be Black Stars boys, some no be Black Stars boys, just about, yeah. But they still, they deliver for the Europe there. So, uh, make an intro, my guests. First up, Daniel Cranston, regular on the show. It be today, today they say they can't fly the flag, give the star boy Mohammed Kudus, so Charlie. What's up? I did inside, but I'm not talking it. <laughs> you know, go fly the flag with Mohammed Kudus. I don't talk to you, I don't do, but I don't talk to you, I don't do it. <laughs> All right. We, uh, when I second guess, go join me in a bit there. But make we start off. Make we start off with um, uh, the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. And over the weekend, uh, the league starts. New season. The publicity be some way, but of course, the league starts. But Hearts of Oak, they say they won't win the league again. But they don't start them proper, proper as they lose 1-0. To Adriana Stars. Because I could not play because then they play Cup Champions League. But the other winners, the Great Olympics, they beat Bechem United. Other teams today, Media Matu, now they get David Duncan. They say they won't win the league and all of that. Daniel, make you start plus Hearts of Oak. Charlie, be like, Hearts, them are trips to <laughs> Doma, de, Charlie. In the last few years, the results no be good. They be like, they don't win self for Doma in a very, very, very long time. It'll be some way. It'll be some way. Um... Two seasons ago, we didn't go draw for them. Like that game, they missed a last minute penalty. That the season we, um, they win the Premier League. Mm -hmm. But aside that, it be like it be defeat some way. It be, it be some way. Um, before the start of the season, I, look, I see the fixtures. No, then I happy say has the face Adriana early, because now they feel see early in the season, not many teams settle down. Mm -hmm. It will take mm -hmm. some time before they go find them a form. And if you watch Adriana them a form from, um, the second half of last season camp. If you tell see this team. Then they know they form, then they're all over the place, especially at home. And then my home form be far from what we know it to be. So then um, then they look like a good fixture for us to have on the opening day. But they go there and it be a combination of two things. The first half where I feel they had dominate in terms of chance creation. Then if we finish up the chance, mm. we had quite a number of opportunities. Um Obi name uh, uh, Corsa hit the post, the near post, uh, close range shot. Uh, once he hit the bar, people would toss it like he for square the ball. But um, if you are shooting from that angle, you for score. At least you for hit the target. We, um, he missed some. Uh, Barney also had a couple of opportunities. He missed some. And then from there, look, at, the, at that level, if you don't take your opportunities, this will be the Premier League. People will catch you. We then will score you. We, Diana, you see, in spite of the fact that they know they are in form at home or they know they inform in general, mm -hmm. by all means, opportunities will come. We boy by the home fans. Chances are, say, then go take them more opportunities. And if you look at the defending for the hearts, the goal has a uh, uh, concede. It be so poor. Where you see, it, 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 it be echoes from last season. If they carry last season, the start of um, last season, if you watch the uh, CAF Champions League qualifiers, we highlight a couple of things against uh, Raja. Then we can't see the same thing. 
This is um, the chance that you did. Yeah. For Corsa, I mean, this Corsa. chance, yeah. If you for hit the target, if you hit the target. But the defending for their hearts go. You see, and it's, it's, it's becoming a problem because defensively as a unit, they have they are, they are glaring issues. Serious, serious glaring issues. Where it's, it's not the best. Look, you have about, see the four players they chase the ball. And there are four players, four uh, Diana Stars players in the box who are free and unmarked. With four hard to folk players, they chase one ball. If you tell us, it would be reactionary defending. We're at this level, Charlie. This will be something where you foresee in Division 2, not at the Premier League, not at the <laughs> highest level, or the level, and not in the team uh, that is attempting to win back their title. This thing not for happening. You can't have four players in the box chasing one ball and leave. In fact, if Bright J no score the goal, the player behind them, then the player just yeah. on the side, go pick up the ball and score. It was that bad. The defending was that bad. And we've seen, and I talk this thing because we see these things um, last season against the Olympics. Hearts concede a goal like this, where they have a number of players chasing the ball. Nobody, the structure be all over the place. So it'd be players taking uh, responsibility for um, situations where just they mm. arise on the spot. There's no coordination amongst them. With that thing, they actually, if you continue like this, then you are almost very easy to beat. Mm. And at this level, Charlie, hearts, hearts really for fix them. It's something where some of you do for fix them. But on the other hand, too, if you look at the amount of, the number of um, starting and key players that Hearts had in the Black, Galaxy, uh, Black Galaxies, you talk about um, Kunedu Yado, Mua, Hassan, um, Kosa. That'd be three of the back four. Then you go to the midfield, you have Glass and Awako, you get Suraj. That'd be two of them. Then you also get uh, Banya for inside. That'd be six players starting for the Black Galaxies. Well, if you have players like that, you see this chance like this, Charlie. If you have players <laughs> like that of that caliber out of the team preseason for so long, you see how hard to focus my preseason was all over the place. They had mm. to take a, a weekend team to the G6. Um, then they had the, the first team to the train for some side because of my fitness, no day. Then some of the star players, like I mentioned, did the Black Galaxies. They had like a week where they have them, uh, the full complement of their team. And if you are going into a game like this, Yes, they might, be, they might have been with the team for very long. They understand some of the, the basic philosophy and principles of the team. But if it comes on this in-game tactical preparedness for a specific task, it go hard. Because one week they actually, if they are not prepared for this game for how long? Park with C.F.A. be renowned head coach. Where you take one week to prepare, for, of course, we go see some of these things. And in mm. the second half, if they are not show them our superiority, we rightly so they win the game. So if you say... Now, so what makes Amor Boy do now? I'm not sure I say you go blame him wholly for the defeat over the weekend, but you point out to one or two things. So, Rana, what would be the way for it? Give her some. They lose them at first game. So, three points gone. Now, how they go free recover and try to make some challenge? Because Kotoko no play yet. Kotoko go get game in hand. Mm -hmm. Where they come inside, two of course. In hand. Two games in hand, actually. This weekend, so, so what, what would be the way for it for her to go? First of all, Make, make, make a look at positives. The positives we say, if you watch the Diana game, there were chances. The team managed to create opportunities. They're finishing where they lack. And if you look at the caliber of players, these kind of things, you can let, the, let it slide. Because mm. you know, see, somebody like Barnier, he did finish off in chances more often than not. You get some senior figures in there where you know, see, under normal circumstances, they'll be hitting the back of the net. So, it, once the team is still creating chances, the, the philosophy, then the machine, they feel, produce chances. That'd be, that'd be positive. But on the defensive side, if you are on this sort of form, we especially away from home. It's like how to focus them away from be so poor. Anytime they go away from home, it's either be lost or draw. More often than not, mm. from last season, be lost, be lost. They will suffer. So if you are not good like that away from home, defensively you for be solid. And with this sort of defending, how seriously for them, them for address and arrest this this matter. Because I don't I know they feel say it be personal wise. I know okay. they feel say it be personal wise. They lost some defenders in the in the 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 transfer window it'd be like um Jerry left it'd be like so also left way more Hassan they bring in uh Kunedu Yadom mm -hmm. but Kunedu Yadom the more Hassan now for build partnership now and they talk about the structure of the defense the structure of the defense way irrespective of the personnel last season was producing results like what we saw and scenarios like what we saw against Adriana Stars so it be it be structure issue them for them for fix them, them for make them they need to be on the same wavelength. That's in the idea. If this to be basal, this this good, this be some kindergarten good to concede. If, if I see the thing, listen, the ball. Because Charlie, you, you can't be conceding a goal like this. But it be something where they really for address. Because if you are this porous, any team knows say once they are compact against you, 
any counter attack or something, you'll be found all over the place and they can and they can and they can counter attack and beat you. And going into the the, the game against Olympics to be something then for okay then for them for tackle. You will go discuss the Olympic Games, uh, Olympics, Hearts Olympics a little later. Mm -hmm. uh, but the um, Great Olympics, but like in the last two years or so, every time they won cost uh, a few seasons ago, they try they know if we finish you know top of the table. But they start off on a winning note. They beat the Chem United 1-0 for the Accra Sports Stadium. It'll be somewhere um, Abekwe or Ashikwe. Ashikwe, sorry, somewhere Ashikwe. It means scored a winning goal late on. But Olympics will be a very interesting team. We don't say, yes, they don't win the league in a long time. But the last two seasons, then they try. Where they start off on the positive, they get them at first three points. Where then they take build confidence. Thoughts on Olympics as they beat Bechemo. It'll be very, very late goal. They take win that game. But they win nonetheless. They get them at first three points. Um, Olympics do something will be very smart. If you watch last season, the chunk of the season where... Um, I know Walker they sick. We they bring in Yao Preko, make it come um, take over the reins in an absence. So Yao Preko was with this team. He play, he managed this team. He know the players inside out. He can understand the culture of the team. We take them. Then they play the G six. Yeah, yeah. The, either huh? Where they finish the, the the season to where I know Walker left go summer text. They no go bring somebody new. If it's, if it's like some natural progression, we then just bring them come inside. Where he can replace Ano Walker. So. He, yes, they have a sort of a new face on the touchline, but they've managed to keep a chunk of the players in there. They've managed to keep the head coach in there. The guy give the assist to be the local coach. <laughs> Where, you see, that, that can be very important for continuity sake. It can be very, very important to keep this uh, chunk of players. When, and that's be what they do. They get, Olympics and my recruitment be, you know, they, it also, it's not talked about a lot, mm. but they really the force if it comes okay. to um, recruitment in terms of you know we'll know them in terms of names but if you watch in the last let me say two two three seasons under Anna Walker they've produced some of the best players in the okay. Ghana Premier League in um, um Ashikwe who's gone and come back Marcel Abekwe who did there yeah. um, you watch Gladys Nawako he was the time he came back to Ghana nobody they want mm -hmm. him Olympics bring him can't refine him right now he go hard they produce some some quality players in there then they get this um Tall defender, he's the Saki. I, 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 it'd be, it'd be Philip Nico Josaki. No, he, he guess I, I, I forget, I forget the guy's name. Be like something Dean or something like some okay. tall, imposing defender. And I see Kono, they break into the black stars inside. So they, you see, they produce some, some, some top quality players, and that be testament to what they, they do at the club. And Charlie, this season, I feel say they dance around the, the possibility of challenging in the past two seasons. I feel say this be the season where they go fit tackle that thing then go at it. Because if you watch the Ghana Premier League last season, aside Kotoko, then it'd be very open for who will finish second. And mm. Kotoko, even at a, even Kotoko self per the standards, they know they were not as consistent as they would have loved to be. But it got to a point where they were losing games. Ah, they they, they, they drug, they, they lose games. But nobody <laughs> they fit capitalize because everybody else in level below, who shouldn't be so. So if you look at a team like like Olympics, me I honestly feel say this this be them my year. Nobody say this be them my year. Then go come out and claim the title. But what they showed two years ago when Hearts of Oak eventually won the league, as, at least the first half of that season where they were top at the halfway point. Second half where they are from uh, Weaver Small with and Candy. Uh, they, they, they drop for the league table top. If then go fish show that sort of determination, because I, I feel say it's very possible. It'd be very, very possible. But, but make a busy. They get, if it was the Ghana Premier League, of course, like you mentioned, it'd be possible. The Ghana Premier League, if you want to win them, it'd be runs. Mm -hmm. So, cut off on has as they win the last years, you forgo on some good run. Olympics, they get that kind of quality, consistency, and ability. Say they go fit, go on and run 10 games. Six wins, two losses. Two, then, then it's of the go fit because look, if you won't win the league, that be me. I cannot say that be what you for do. Look, are they, are they, are they, are they look at the signs. We are they talk say, look, if you watch uh, last season, and you see another thing about Olympics, you see, they might form against the big boys, it's really good. Hearts of folk in recent times, they've had a good, uh, some good results against hearts. Um, they start this season. Beijing United were very strong this season. Olympics that they beat them in the G6. They beat them again um, on opening day. So in terms of like rivals in and around them in last season, they cleared the first mm -hmm. heading in Beijing mm -hmm. United. Mm -hmm. They have more than what it takes to go out and produce a consistent run. They're my home form be solid. Um, look, in terms of the bottom, let me let me say the bottom nine in the Ghana Premier League. Olympics go fit tackle any of them 
home and away. They are, they are that good. And I'm saying on a good day. Where you see the thing, too, it, it starts with believing. If you start the season where you, you make up your mind, say, we for day decide at the end of the season. It go guide in your attitude, you go guide in your preparation. But if you go away, they talk, say, oh, we could try, we could see, or you they adjust your, your season aspirations on us and when mm, on a mm, weekly mm, basis. Mm, that mm. thing will be falter. But if you start the season, like the way Kotoko, the way has they do them a business, at the start of the season, Kotoko no see they won't win the title. So if they start and then they go for the title straight head, uh, head on. Okay. But if Olympics will fit tackle them in that way, then I honestly see few say them go fit. Because you see, two seasons ago, what I feel say them a problem is what was their problem was the fact say. The time they can't reach the top, they didn't expect to be there. So it'd be like, oh, right now we can't do there. Oh, Mo could try it and see if, if anything happen. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If anything happen, uh, we try. If we don't win to uh, we try, whatever the case. But if you watch them perform that season, where you watch Hearts and Kotoko, in fact, the interesting thing about the two seasons ago, we see Hearts and Kotoko only started the force with like 12, 10, 12 games to the end of the season. That when they go on, the, the two of them go on simultaneous, consistent runs where they can't pass, everybody can stretch the gap. But before then, then uh, Olympics, uh, Midiama, Haas, Kotoko, they, they dance around the top, then they exchange positions. And that be the difference between, in the talk, the ability to produce consistent mm -hmm. runs. And I feel if I watch this Olympics team, honestly, it be mindset thing. If then go fit set them, my mind say, this be what then they want. I don't, I don't feel say anything go fit stop mm -hmm. them. They, them. Them go fit. All right. I can't wait to Olympics. As they start, they win. I say, you see some of them are big men for the stadium there. They excite. They make happy. They said this year Olympics will fix cause problems. I bet make we see the results from match week one of the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. So that'll be the uh, full results sheet. Olympics one, Bechem zero, RTU zero, Samatex zero. So Samatex they start off uh, with one point. Kosoku Royals one, Accra Lions zero. Kosoku Royals they be newly promoted. They start off with a win. Adriana starts one, Hearts of Oak zero. Uh, Bibiani Gold starts zero. Dreams one. So Dreams win. On opening weekend, Dreams win away from home. Mm -hmm. So that'd be very good. Very, very good result for them. The only, they'll be the other team where they win away from home. Um, Karela won Tamale City's, Tamale City's zero. So Tamale City newly promoted. They, too, they start off with a loss. I get some feeling, you know. This is I get some feeling. This is my issue with the Ghana Premier League. May, just make a finish. Legon City zero, Mediama one. So Mediama two, they said this season they won't win because... Every time they go top the league, they are the league they truncate. Mm -hmm. The last two times they top the league, they are they end the league halfway where they no fee win. Brekum Chelsea two, King Faisal zero. Then Kotoko them a match plus in Swatcher. Man, no happy because Kotoko they play Champions League. We'll discuss Champions League in a second. Um Diki Abek, mid media. So what be media man them a problem, really? Because the last two times they top the league, like we talk, they truncate them. If the league they in full session, even like they know they fit, really put in a good bid. For winning the league title, well, I don't. Well, now they get David Duncan. David Duncan yeah. say now they the target the league title. I feel say if you watch the two was it two or three? No, it was three seasons in a row. Way they they truncate the league. In fact, they were top at the mid uh, at the midpoint. The first two then truncate them. The second one they lost their head coach to Accra mm -hmm. They were top of the league. I feel say that season honestly, if some of you stayed, they could have won the league. Oh wow! Because no, because the the. Thinking and the sentiment around the club, they say, then they see them as body as championship winning uh, yeah. caliber team. Yeah. We that be what are they like? So the mindset is right. But last season, them uh, they had a lot of coaching issues. They start be like Ignatius go there. They start you know work out. Work. Then juggle change managers. I think like two or three times during the season. That instability they worry. So for last season, they go fit throw them away and scrap them. But if they sit where they watch them are. Uh, them are pairs inside. They have the finances to back mm, um, the mm, team. Mm. Recruit the players where they need. David Dan can be a solid guy. He's done it before. He's been here. He's done it before. He get the experience. And working in, in an environment like that, and they talk based on what we hear some of you talk about the Mediama people. It'd be very, op it'd be very nice, vibe, open okay. Um, okay. environment. Uh, um, then, then they try in terms of the end things. Um, Parker, then, look, they, it's a club that under, then they understand the football business. Where they know, see, then they feel, see, it's about time we then start the challenge for, for, for the Ghana Premier League title. So I feel, see, for coaching wise, that, I think that was the problem. The fact that they didn't recruit uh, a, a championship winning coach okay, okay. at the start of last season. He was, uh, no, no disrespect to Ignatius. He'd be very good, but he know tangibles. He know, he know, he know. Did he? He's done some good. He check like he's done some good work <laughs> in the smaller teams, teams but yeah. he know be proven at the at the top level. And I feel with David Duncan coming in, 
even that pressure safe, if they walk into the team, he's not going to compete for top four. They can't compete for the title. And opening day, they show you. They go away from home, get three points. Yeah, they beat Legon City. They beat Legon City in Accra. Where then they come, next game, uh, be, be in front of them, uh, them, uh, home, them uh, home supporters. So look, it'll be something to build on. And I don't want to talk too much because it just be the first day of the season. But if you watch how some of the clubs, they do the matins, you go fit Chelsea. <laughs> Like this, be this, this this season will be in terms of the title race. We know, you know, will be like last season where we cut or threw out. You know, be like two seasons ago we has cut or at the end just stretch everybody. I feel say this season and a warning to the big teams like us, they wait and start. If they no take care, there will be no recovery because mm. some, look, Mediama have meant it. Cut or if they come back, cut or they can't surrender the title just for surrendering. Season. Then they can't fight. They feel say they have trophy for stake Kumasi. So it will be a very tough. Uh, um, Title race. So with the teams where they push, oh, we will finish top four. That's why they fear for Olympics because this season the number of teams that feel serious, they, they feel say they are ready to challenge for the title. You will have like the first, second, third very close, mm. or first, first, second, third, fourth very close. Where you say you go battle for top four, you go feel language in sixth, seventh. If you don't take yourself, you go the relegation zone. So the priorities be very important. The planning be very important. Your your targets be very important. Okay. Well, if you say for the teams that we can see already, they have not for take them easy this season. Olympics, okay. medium, and then for push hearts and Kotoko this season. Because it will be interesting. Even Beijing United, from what happened last season, if you watch the tail of end of last season, the time Kotoko they falter, Beijing to yeah, the yeah, yeah, go go falter. The, yeah. Where it was very disappointing because we, sh we see the, the sort of form they show in the first half of the season. Where that team where we see, we don't see them in the second half of the season. But then for fit to be able to balance the two. The two halves, the first half, second half. Second half. Well, I feel like we will have a very exciting title race this season. All right, uh, make we see the fixtures for week two of the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. That'll be the second round, uh, match day two of the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. There you have them. And so Achaman go play Bechem. So in Achaman, they get game in hand because they know if he play Kosoko. So mm -hmm. that game they fridge inside. They and Bechem, Dreams and Kosoku Royal. So Dreams is with them a first game at home. They win away. Yeah. Yeah, they welcome newly promoted side where they do they get three points. So two teams where they win them are opening games. Mm -hmm. Go meet. Accra Lions and Carella. Very interesting. Accra Lions last season, he all, he, he, the season almost Paul puts them a hands inside, but they were like they escape. Already they start off with their loss. Yeah. Already they start off with their loss. So they for they guard while they, they play Carella. Tamale City, they welcome Legon Cities. So the city clash they happen. Tamale City today to they be very new at this level. Media Madden RTU. This is going to be very interesting. Game. Media Madden, my first home game. Even mm. at them, my stadium, they do finish. Yeah. So now RTU will go taste how the stadium day, like for the Takwa, the wow. Heart of Oak, the Olympics. We'll go talk about this match in a bit. Samatex go welcome Brekum Chelsea. I always talk say the teams where they go go play for Samatex, they go really suffer because the road is long. The road to no good. <laughs> so if you go early, or if you go Friday, by Sunday afternoon, you're tired. They think they go score you. Okay, Pfizer, the Adriana, Adriana go like build on them a result. They, they go come and say the pitch to be good. Mm -hmm. So it means say in an open game where everything be okay, Adriana go fix cause problems. Adriana, if they watch them like that, they really won't win the Ghana Premier League again. Mm -hmm. Again. Then be any gold start, then Asante Kosoko. That game today postponed because Kosoko they play calf champions. So Kosoko, by the time they go come back, they get two matches for the fridge inside, they wedge them. We go see how they go warm that uh, those two games. We go see how um um, they go proceed. Um, Daniel, I bet make we we go talk about Hearts Olympics though. But of all these games, if you commence that one, the Manchester Derby, we one way you say it be it be very interesting tie in uh, match week two. Me personally, I look forward to the Tamale City and uh, Legon City's game. Why? <laughs> um, both of them lose on opening day. Um, Tamale City then qualify as a result of the uh, mini the, playoff. The playoff, game. yeah. Uh huh. Um, Hamza Mohammed, he gets some nice ideas. If you watch them during that playoff, he gets some nice ideas. They play mm. some nice mm. football. And this is something where they wait. They'll be very young club, but they wait for this opportunity for a long time. This will be my first home game for Ali Mahama Stadium. Tamale in front of them, my home crowd. Um, clearly, I'm not the biggest team in Tamale. <laughs> team do, but the fact is, they for Tamale City's fans, they've been hoping to rival RCT uh, RT RT. at the at the big level, and this be them are them are bow in front of them are home fans. I really feel see Legon City will suffer because Legon <laughs> City no true because I'm not I know you talk say Midiama be small team, but we know the importance of home form in this Ghana Premier League. Oh, yeah. So if 
you go sit to your house, make because Mediama play them, score them. Oh, yeah. If Mediama play them, score them. the first time. You get what? They get two what? Two seasons ago. Yeah. When they get two red cards for that game inside. Two key players are missing. You are going away to to Tamale in front of an enthusiastic uh, mm, uh, mm, uh, mm. Uh, ground in front of them are fans. Tamale cities. Look, I've, it will be very interesting because these will be two teams where they still they try to figure them away up, up, mm, out of mm. this season. Um, but I fancy Tamale City. I really fancy Tamale City. Hamza Mohamed is somebody, somebody I like. Um, then you read about them, we hear about them. But if the mini playoff way. You watch them, you see, say, Charlie, it's not just the football, but the mentality. They, they, they play, you know, their body language. If you tell, say, Charlie, then they want, they were yearning for the opportunity yeah, to come yeah, to the Premier true. League. And they managed to grind it out, especially the last day, uh, the, the last fixture, I think, was against, yeah, against Dwarfs. Uh, the one one with the scrape out. This became, if I see performances like that, I'm happy. We, I just won't see how they go, they go fair because the first game of the season, they are not really take judge. They are away from <laughs> it, will, it, will, it will be very difficult. Okay. But in front of them, are home fans, I'm really um, um, looking forward to see what they can do against League One cities. The biggest tie for the round inside be the Manche Derby. The first Manche Derby of the season, mm -hmm. Hearts, <laughs> Hearts versus Olympics. Last season, Hearts really no see this game top because either game they lose. Um, I can't say the second one be when they lose. By a wider margin, where then people they talk all kinds of things. But bottom line, they say, of the two teams, if, like, if this match come, Olympics really they excite, they play the game yeah. plus vehemence. It's like at the time they are Wako Day there, where they really give us problems. What make us do? Because if they know they got, it will be zero out of six points. Now you won't do catch up very early in the season. And this was something where it happened last season. It has them a slow start. Last, if you remember, they draw them a first three games, was it? And they were already trailing Kotoko mm -hmm. by six points. And they, uh, it, it was very bad. But Charlie, to face Olympics at this time, they go hard for Hearts. <laughs> because in the last two seasons, Hearts no win. They play four matches in the league. Hearts no win one. Olympics win three. They draw one. And that recent form still did the Olympics mm. plays them a mind inside. And I talk about the familiarity with the head coach. You know, they say... Yeah, Pre could he come now he can't take charge of him first match that be. He sees some before, he feels some before during an all kind of absence. Where he shows he you see, you know, completely changed the team. Players have, he played he play some before. Yeah. So you know, if anybody they understand this thing, he be am. Where you go know how psych in place. I already talked to the hearts it just they, it, something they feel if you watch the Diana game, then there was something missing inside, some spice, some vibe. It'd be like they know said that settle. And mm -hmm. if they can't find a quick solution to that before the Olympics begin, okay. honestly, go over them. And you see, with this hard Olympics thing, home form, you know, they matter. If you they, are, they, play, for the they play for the same, this thing. Well, Olympics, really, they sense it, this be the opportunity. And now, you see, we talk about the fact that Kotoko no go play the first two games. So, to have an early lead, the teams where they target their title, mm. Olympics was say they beat Hearts, that be six points. They already cleared two big teams in there because Beijing United, Hearts of Folk, per last season standing, mm -hmm. gives the title mm -hmm. um, challenges. Yeah. So you go if you score Hearts this one, that be six points against two of your, your toughest rivals. We left Kotoko. Now Kotoko too, they can't do catch up. And there's no guarantee, say Kotoko go win them against. So at least for the foreseeable future, you did top if you go manage your body. Jay. So for her, so the pressure did them at top. And you see, you don't want what happened last season. Because last season, by the third game of the season, the pressure they had. Because them got to clear everybody. Where hard showed during that period, see, they know if you handle that pressure, okay. where they crumble. The same, in a talk at the start of the program, the similar things we did see from last season, they happen again. The chance creation, the inability to finish off chances, conceding silly goals. These things, they happen. I know, it just be the first game of the season. But it tells a lot. If we still they see some signs from last season in the first game of the season, that means say, there's still a lot of work to be done before they go face Olympics. So for me, honestly, I'm not confident from a hard point of view. It will be very difficult fixture, especially because Olympics are also very difficult to break down. Defensively, they'll be very solid. If you want, as no go fit, and we've seen it in the last two seasons. Mm. Although leading up to the games, both teams, the both teams are on form. If they reach the match inside, has just luck. They, they are not able to open up Olympics, they know they create opportunities in Basa. Well, Olympics just they sit up. Well, Olympics too, it'll be like in the past couple of years, they get that big game mentality. Then they show up if the big boys come around. They've had some good results against Kotoko. Yeah, I talk the hearts of folk one. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of other 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 big names. So in this I I, I feel like Olympics are favorites for this wow. one. But 
it would be disastrous if Hearts lose this one. Six, zero point, uh, uh, over six in the first two games of the season. It means uh, you already get two, two game head start over Kotoko. Then you all did the same point stop. We could talk get better goal difference pass you because they don't touch but you, you concede goals already. So yeah. hearts hearts really for DG, but I'm not I'm not confident. From a heart point of view, I'm, I'm not be confident at all. Wow. At wow. all. Interesting. Um make we have a look at the fixtures once again for week two of the Bet Power Ghana Premier League. Um that be that be the fixture list in Swatchman versus Bechem. <laughs> Dreams versus Kotoku Royals. Achim Kotoku Royals. Aqua Lions. Uh, versus Karela. So Accra Lions, like I talked last season, they have been a relegation, they can't catch them where they escape. So this season, they for start, well, they already lose them at first game. So they, they for try to respond to Karela. Tamale City and Legon Cities go play for the Ali Mahama Stadium in Tamale, go be Tamale City. They are first game ever in the Ghana Premier League in the top flight. Mediama go face LTU for Takwa. Hearts of Oak go face Great Olympics for the Accra Sports Stadium. That'll be the Manche Derby. Manche Derby, and it will happen in match week two of the Ghana Premier League. Um, Samatex go face Be uh, Brekum, Chelsea. Samatex, uh, the debate for Samuel Boy. Samuel Boy, they Westing North. So, like I talk, if you know travel early, by the time you go catch there, then you tire, then they go score you. That'd be the problem. King Faisal, then Adriana starts. Then we know, say, if any gold starts, then Kosoko, them again. But Nathan, postpone I guess on small problem plus the hearts, then Olympics, the scheduling of that game. What, what, why? It'll be Sunday 3 p.m. With that same Sunday 3 p.m. Sunday 3 p.m. Yeah, Kotoko, they play them a second leg for oh. Kumasi. It'll be some way because I've, I feel, say, even from the Premier League setting safe, imagine Kotoko, they play safe. Hearts versus Olympics Manchester, that will be the biggest game for yeah. the, the Premier League. So before, like, move and on. For play on Becky, 6 p.m. under the lights. Make every, every, if everything's set to finish, then we'll watch you. Because, it, you, know they, you know, they go well with one of one football. Because, yes, you know, we say we, we struggle for Africa chair as a country. One of team struggle for Africa chair. So, the same thing we do for Hearts. If you watch last season, the time Hearts play Africa, if then they play, they played in the play. Yes, at that time the league hadn't started though. But then everybody they sit back, stop whatever then they do, then support them. I feel say we for do that thing for Kotoko because it doesn't make sense to me that we we'll have a fixture that is will attract a lot of viewers and a lot of interest at the same time as Kotoko too, they try to navigate them away from Africa. I feel say we forgive them that this thing. Make Kotoko play that game. Make everybody support them. If they finish, uh, which they will qualify, and I know they will qualify, then we will come watch the House Olympic mm. game. But this thing where they clash, they actually, you see, you, you know, this will be the English player or La Liga or some big league, already established league where you go feel spread, and we you know, say people go watch by all means. You don't want to split the, 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 the viewership too much. If you come and say, we get, well, I mean, if we come Africa at this point in time, we the tackle them by the national assignment. Me that be hard to see them. So, who could stop what they do? Who could support Kotoko finish against Kadiogo? If they finish that, they won't go watch the hard game. But it's 3 p.m. Sunday, 3 p.m., 3 p.m. Yeah, mm. It's some way for me. All right. Um, if you got anything, uh, tell me. T um, text and with our WhatsApp. 0550-585832. This will be Football Made in Ghana. They're not going to be my guest. My name is Nathan Kwa. We'll go take some quick break. If you come back, we'll go touch on Kotoko. They're my second leg, <coughs> sorry, against Kadiogo. Burkina Faso, what be their plan? What be their way for it? How they go to succeed and progress in round two? Then we go talk about the Ghana boys when they shine in Europe. Mohamed Kudus, Kamal Soa, then Kamal Dean Suleimana. All of this and more coming up after this break. This will be Football Made in Ghana on City TV. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Football Made in Ghana on CCTV. My name is Benetan Kwa Daniel Kranting. Uh, be my guest. We discussed the Ghana Premier League or the Bet Power Ghana Premier League week one results with two fixtures. The Manchester Derby has versus Olympics be the biggest game of the new round. Make we move on to other issues. Asante Kotoko. Asante Kotoko. They, they play Kadiogo for the CAF Champions League um, playoffs or the, the opening round. They beat Kadiogo 1 0 for the away leg. They play on Monday for Benin, for Kotonou. They will play their return leg this weekend, Sunday, 3 p.m., like Daniel talk. Um, Daniel, so, because I'm win the first, that'd be 50% of the work done. Now, they for try to close out the job in Kumasi, in front of the fans for Baba Yawa. What be the plan? What be the plan? How Kotoko Kofi succeed over the two legs and make it to the next stage? 
Um, first of all, then they get advantage in the fact they calf reject a Kadiogo in venue. So the first leg was played away from home, but at a neutral venue in Benin. We could, could take advantage of that. Um, it, be, it wasn't the most convincing performance if you compare to how they played last season. And that's because, look, it's a new, a new head coach. Now nah, nah, he didn't try and instill him philosophy and things. It would take time. And you see, if you have special talents like Isaac Opong, people will they go feel conjure magic out of nothing. This will be what you go get. You don't, your team doesn't need to be 100% in sync with you. But if they are at a certain level, let's say 60, 65%, and you have players like that, then go go on the pitch and do magic for you. And that's what um, Kotoko do. The most important thing was going out there in the away leg, keeping a clean sheet. If you go feel Nick, go fine. But keep a clean sheet, make sure you don't concede. And that's what they do. Last minute, Isaac Opon doing magic, where you see uh, the one nil win for them. No, Kumasi will be tough. Kumasi will be tough because now Kadiogo they come Kumasi with nothing to lose. They already concede away from home. Mm -hmm. So they know they have to score. It means that their approach will be likely very attacking, very offensive, try to push Kotoko on the back foot. But at the same time, too, look, I, I count on the Kotoko people. The last time they were in Africa, um, nobody, Zachary said that time. I talk a Siki Akuno that time. That time, it'd be uh, NC special. There was no football happening in the country. The way they turn up, give Kotoko, with the way the players respond to play the ball for the pack top. You go face and say, Look, it is, it is a, this thing will be beyond Kotoko. Them for reach the next round. Them for reach. Because they have a squad. Yes, they've lost a number of key players, but they've also recruited very well. If you watch them at preseason, if it tells you the recruits be solid, you watch the, the, the Zeze guy, the Ivorian, yeah. the brilliant footballer. They, they bring in some players we, and if not at the same level of the guys they lost, some are better in terms of technique, in terms of what the new coach they want. You go work plus them better. So recruitment-wise, Kotoko have done a, a fantastic job. And that is, it'd be something when I will do in the past. Since he take over, his recruitment be solid. Mm. Almost every player they bring in, you go see in quality and you see him early. So look, in as much as, it will take time before we will see what uh, Zebo the tribe do plus this team. I feel say Sunday it will be fit way if it will be beyond cut okay. Because, look, in us, yes, your opposition will come at you. But for me, for quality teams, that is the best thing you want. You want the opposition to come. Because once they come, then go less spaces in behind. Where you see the likes of uh, Mfuege, you see uh, uh, Isaac Opong. These guys will then go feel exploit the spaces in behind. It be it be delights for any attack, any attacking minded team, any solid team. Once they have their defense in check, which Kotoko have shown, the Sheriff Mohammed guy, fantastic defender. <laughs> Look, then they, then another thing about Kotoko be say, then get a big game temperament yeah. in front of them at home fans, cup Champions League game. Some of these players they don't play Africa before. Some of these players they play before, then they wait for another opportunity. This be the perfect stage for them. I just know Kotoko will deliver. Mm. Then go, then go ask for qualification there, then go secure. So Vim Day. Oh Vim Day easy. <laughs> so that be that be the story from Daniel Kranti. Kotoko they play Katiogo, uh, Babayara Stadium on Sunday. If they win, they move on to the next stage. Now, if they qualify, they go play the winner of uh, Gaboroni United, the AS Vita Club of DR Congo. So that be how complex the past day. They go fit meet AS Vita Club. Charlie AS Vita Club. They 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 no be joke. They no be children. The board they not play. They play this competition some before. So with the wish Kotoko, the very best. Hopefully by next Wednesday we go discuss them as victory. But whatever happened next Wednesday we go discuss Asante Kotoko and see what be the way forward. Give them either qualifying or not. Even if they no qualify safe, they go drop into the Confederation Cup second round playoff. We go see how they go uh, succeed on that front. If big if they catch there, uh, make we move on. Make we move on. Last night or uh, during the week, Champions League action day. Tuesday night Champions League action. Make we start off plus Liverpool then Ajax with Mohamed Kudus. In the last week, Mohamed Kudus start gets start. He starts in the league. He did start in the Champions League. He scored goal last week. And on Tuesday night too, he get goal. Now he got five goals in four matches in all competition for Ajax Amsterdam. Way in goal, no. Everybody they talk about him. Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool manager, self say Charlie the goal there be proper goal. Proper, proper goal. Rio Ferdinand, the empathies for BT Sport, all talks to Charlie. The goal there, it'd be super goal. Now, now it'd be interesting. A few weeks ago, we talked about Kudus, if they need minute sentence. In the last two, three weeks, if they get in start where they deliver for Ajax in the league and in the Champions League. Yeah, um, we spoke about patience. And we talked, say, 
the fact say the time he go on strike way he won't left he stopped the goal training he won't left no we talk say once Ajax be adamant say he no go leave it means say they get plans for him where he just for be patient where it is show and you see sometimes so, so, some of these things, I they understand the Ghanaian sentiment, and I understand the Ghanaian in us. Sometimes we push it, why he tap. <coughs> but the interesting thing about this Kudu situation, we see the players where most people sit back, pinpoint say Kudu for the player ahead of. You know the player ahead of any of them. Okay. He's been used in the role that he's, when he come into Ten Hag in team, this false nine thing that he did play. In fact, the game against Liverpool, where he had two uh -huh. seasons ago, he was started as a false nine. They brought him back to that position. Where... It be one testament to him in versatility, the fact that he could feel excel everywhere. And also, it is show say, Ajax always had a plan for him. Mo could not talk, you see, it be go very naive to sit down and think that it was the noise we made over here, that's why I asked change in my mind. No, there was always <laughs> a plan. We then talk, say, the season long, there's Champions League, there are cup games, there's league games, the World Cup will come, they'll finish the World Cup, they'll come back. So the importance of having a strong, solid squad was always there. Where it was just about Kudus getting his opportunities. As for in, in talent, it, it never been in doubt. Where I like the, what I love about MBC, you know, we say he did walk into the, the, on the pitch expecting to play. He won't play because he not say if he play, he go feel offer something. We then give him the opportunity to he grab him. He did show the reason why then he did agitate for that starting mm. position. And that you see, Funny thing is, that is what every head coach they want. They want to say, once they put you on there, you go prove to me why I should keep maintaining you there. And to be fair to Shuda, he do one. He start time the last how many games? Four games. Kudus, they start the last four games. And he's proving why he should be starting. If you watch the performance against Liverpool yesterday, especially the first half, because he's no be, he no be your typical number nine. He gets some a certain level of skill set where your typical number. He no be static. He doesn't make it easy for the defenders to pin him down. Then he did drop deep. He did fit turn into space. He did link up, play and things. Brilliant. And I think we we need to give him credit for to be in technique, because against the goal against Rangers, then this goal against Liverpool, mm -hmm. it shows it in, in technical level. It high. Yeah. The short way he take from the edge of the box. More times against Rangers, more times that ten no people they miss that shot. <laughs> Seriously, it is easier. It is easier to take it on the opposite side and sort of bend it mm -hmm. in than when you hit a shot that is going away from the goalkeeper to still hit the target. It'd be very difficult. Now this one also, the difficulty of this skill against Liverpool. If you watch, the cutback was behind Amo. Mm -hmm. See, he did behind Amo. In first that wasn't the best because he didn't take it in front of him. He took it almost behind him again. When he for readjust in body, make sure mm -hmm. he go hit the target. When that way, that way your technique they come in. It be special skill. If you get, you get. If you no get, you no get. Where clearly could lose get him. But you see, this is the sort of sustained form we really like. He bang against uh, Heronville over the weekend. Two goals. He bang last week against Rangers. He bang again. This be two Champions League games. Two goals. Where this be what you see the person who you can replace for the, the team is uh, right now. If they come on, he to pressure mm -hmm. the top say he for score. Well, that be what you see at every top team. That be the kind of uh, uh, competition you they want. Nobody they walk into a top team expecting to play every game just because. No, it be performances where they guarantee your 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 your, your status in, in in the team. So Kudus has done what every top professional for do. He relax. He taking chances. He come on. Right now, they show say he's one of the best players for the team inside. And honestly, right now, if I have to watch them at team inside, going into the subsequent games, they, they can't do without him. The kind of form where he did, the way he imposed himself on mm, that mm, and mm. force nine center forward rule. He, he's come to understand. He embrace him. And he seems to be bringing the best out of some of the, the, the attacking players too for the team inside. Tadish, they enjoy himself. Berghaus, they enjoy himself. All these guys, they enjoy themselves. So, I'm happy for him. Hopefully he goes sustain. I mean, I'm not putting it beyond him. He go fit. It be it be simple. If you want, you see, when you go to Anfield and you play like this, your confidence level is already here. Your ability is here. It just be the consistency where you for hit. Mm. Where he, you know, to be fair to Kudus, aside but for injuries, like by now, oh see, like by you know, be saying something. You know. This be football made in Ghana, so I will talk my mind. Uh -huh. By now, if not for injuries, uh -huh. okay lah. Like by now, Kudus day on the level of. Haaland, Mbappe. The, oh, I'm serious. Ah, this kind of form. This is what, five, five goals five in four. four. Is he, to be honest, this will be the most consistent run he's put in in how many years at Ajax? He go play two, three matches in head. Two, three matches in head. 
This be the first time where we they see Kudus on a sustained basis where they play, they play, they play. I be mm. this weekend they come. They score two, score one, hat trick they come. So now after I... the hat trick, no, if they go face uh, what do they call themselves? They put Liverpool face the one. No? Napoli. Napoli, yeah. Napoli to go collect. <laughs> oh, they don't go collect easy. They will collect. Oh, I tell you. Okay, all right. The other Ghanaian player where he scored goals on the Champions League, on Champions League duty, be Kamal Soa. Kamal Soa, they play give Club Bruges, or some people they talk Club Brugge, uh, for Belgium. Uh, they beat FC Porto the, um, away from home, right? They beat yeah. FC Porto away from home. So, uh, Kamal Soa, very interesting uh, night give up. So, as Kudus to the bang on one side, it's Kamal you know. Soa into Charlie. But well, the interesting thing about Club Bruges, we say, you know, become a swap and then hit the bank. Then then it's order to do some decent job for the back there. Solid performance on the day. That guy, they play. <laughs> no, I'll be serious. They don't call him Professor for nothing. Or Bob Bob. Uh, like, he they play ball. Or he they play. He they understand the rule. If you day in body, actually, you know they go anywhere. You day here, no. You know they move go anywhere. You go Porto, you go in training, you keep clean sheets for Porto. But come on, so I'll be solid guy. You see, and this is one of the players. Young and ejected forward, link up play on point. I know we'll shock in the next couple of months. We will see him for the blaster set up inside. The thing we say, it is, it is, it can be difficult to break into this this kind of blaster setting because if you look at the attack, the the are you brothers in terms of the my ex, the my experience mm -hmm. playing at the top level, then be almost untouchable. You bring somebody like Inaki Williams within class, mm -hmm. Charlie, that one to be hard. Where you get uh, uh, what be name? Uh, Felix Afinajan shown a lot of promise from AS Roma. Now, Ide Kremonizi, he go start the play regular. All these things, it they take time. National team football is some very interesting dynamic. It, 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 you know, they follow formula everywhere. You, everywhere. You, you talk that in, I meet Chris Hilton mm. for some function like that. Well, I'm saying, mm. to be honest, me, I tell him, say, I feel say the World Cup, mm. it come too early, give this cup. He say, yeah. Because for them, my mind inside, they go prepare this club, they go play Afcon qualifiers, they go go one Afcon, two Afcons, then the World Cup. But as they start now, the World Cup comes. So mm -hmm. then they find out it's a very interesting yeah. situation the day inside. Yeah. So you see, hey, they talk. It's it's they are young. There's a lot of time for some of these guys to be integrated in the team, and it is always a good thing for a national team manager to have. Even players outside the, the squad performing mm. like this. Because it'd be a large pool of players. If you have top performers, then it means if somebody knew the force. Sir. It'd be very simple to, very easy to switch the person, come out and then bring somebody else in. And for Kamal Soa, it's very important to have these sort of performances. Because yes, um, you may not be the most prolific out there. But when you come on the big stage and you, 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 you make big performances on the big stage, it'd catch eye. See Emmanuel Boateng like this. Yeah, the so season where he scored a uh, Barcelona hat trick, yeah. he scored Real Madrid. He scored seven goals that season. Four of those goals were against the top two in in, uh, in La Liga, and that is how to announce yourself. You may be doing okay. Oh, you play regularly. You know, should that the score? But you meet Barcelona where you score them hat trick. You meet Real Madrid where you score them. People will take notice of you, and that is taking advantage of the of the big occasions. So for come out so well like this. Last season we see him against PSG. Um, he didn't know along this post for therefore. For that, uh, it, was, it was opening game of the of the Champions, Champions League. League. So this will be two consecutive seasons where he did champion, they play Champions League football. If you go fit, take advantage of nights like this, same as Kudus, because Kudus, the, the people for Ajax not say Kudus the force, but see the rave rave, the people then they outside the force. That be good headache to have. Mm, it be okay. very good headache. Where well, that's in the sea, if you go across all the countries where then get superstars, you by all means go see say actually, hey, this guy is good, but I know the team is like he go fit deal. Mm. That is a headache every 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 national team manager wants to have. Okay. So it'd be good for him. All right. The other player, uh, be Kamal Din Suleiman, I mean, they play in football for Stadren um, in the French Liga. Uh, they play against Auxerre, Auxerre over um, the weekend, where it'd be like Kamal Din to, as he come back from a long injury layoff, into come sport, they give a Stadren as they take on um, Auxerre in the French League. Uh, then it'd be very interesting. Kamal Din. As he starts in rent career, we say, yeah, promise they score in debut. But injuries really disturb him. In form, go up and down for the Blacks, as you know, really try. But yeah. even like he rediscover in scoring form once again. Mm -hmm. um, last, last season, no end world give him. Um, after the AFCON, um, he had time to the end of the season. And you could understand how and why Ren decided to ease him into this, into this campaign. Be like this was his first start. And this campaign, this is the match, not three minutes, bam, he bang. That'd be how you announce yourself. 
we Charlie. This one says like he scored Briso. This be like minutes after he scored the first goal. We then clear the, the, the ball off the line. But I, I did like this thing. You see, it the show say as for Ren, and these were things uh, once you are in their squad, once you are being named, once it means that they get plan for you. Because mm. trust me, these European teams they don't really waste space like that. They know they waste space. So if they're not getting any use for you, you know what did the team inside them. They will make you left long time. Mm. But he be talent. They spend money on him. But they, this go the J that go almost score. They go score an in debut. In debut, yes. Very similar. Cutting, type of goal. cutting, slow the ball in the back of the net. But so look, once if you come the black stars, it is kind of struggle. What be, it be structural problem or what? It look. It is like walking into a new team. And to be fair, how, how many times has he played with the Black Stars? Mm, mm. He started what in the below in time, uh, the, the the Zimbabwe game that was somewhere in September last year. But look, for a young player walking into a new culture, he no play, he not play any of the youth teams. He become Black Star straight. He walk into this setter. It will take time. You see, it's one of those things where it's one good performance away from sparking a, a long sustained run of, of quality performances. And some of these players, especially when they are young and they are proving themselves like that, give them an, an opportunity. It's different from an established player who is coming and not doing well. For the young players, they have their career ahead of them. And once they are showing the promise, you see, the thing I will come out with him this year, he might not be doing well. He will be them special talent some. He did the the pack top, oh, he know they sit up. But he just be one take on away from creating some spark for the pack top. Wait, Charlie, if you get these kind of players there, you for keep them for your setup inside. So me are happy. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Hopefully, he go warm himself into the mm. season. He go uh, become a more established member of the Ren um, um, setup. He was subbed at halftime. It was a tactical change. But also, you go to say, he had talked at the start of the submission. They don't want manage him. And they manage him small, small. Because how important he is. He, you know, if you lose him to injury just like that. But the sad thing is, <coughs> the team is scoring. No? Then my left back be Gideon Mensa. <laughs> okay. He swallow five. Wait for, yeah, for, for, for Gideon and the fear for him because last season was a very similar thing. Um, the team that he did on loan to then go relegation. Bordeaux. After. Bordeaux. Bordeaux go relegation. So, so swallowing and they swallow five, six, five, six. Where you can't do Oxe again. Second game of the season, we say what? Fourth game of the season, you do consider another five. It be, it be some way. There's one thing playing regularly, but when you are playing regularly and you are building your confidence by your team getting results, that one they okay. help. You know, yeah. say you just they play, then your team they swallow five, six, five. Six. No, 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 that's in there, Charlie. Then for work on them team is them for work, and then they might coach them for work on them because five, they're yeah. ah, no good. No good crap. Okay, we could go to a couple of messages then. We go wrap the show up. This one says, House of Oak will lose their first four matches. Emmanuel Bar for Kotoko in Takra. Hey. Kotoko too good lose. I know I change my mindset. You will support you. You say I'm going to lose my first four. All right, Isaac Apia says very interesting program. Football made in Ghana indeed. Wait, they give you some corrections. So Samuel Boy Day Western region. Okay, no be Western off. Okay, thank you. Um, this one says so now Samatex and Mediama are two teams in the Western region. Okay, that's Isaac Apia in Gisa. This one is from Moise from East Ligon Hills. I wish Kotoko. The best of luck, but I just see you they wear from Sunday. You go stop the wear. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, do. This one says, I expect nothing but a win from the Babayara Stadium. I'm hoping to see, I'm hoping uh, Mokwala will sit up this weekend. Okay. This one says, I wish Frank Bella took out all the best in his new team. He has done his part for Kotoko. Um, Ibra Kaswa says, Football made in Ghana always they make my day on Wednesday. I like how Daniel they do in analysis. Okay. Um, Pity Pity Brim from Abrewan Ko. And I, you know, be that one. Okay. OTV Jin says, um, could also go be fantastic um, against Liverpool. All righty. That'd be, that'd be how we go wrap the show up. Daniel, thank you so, so much. Next Wednesday, we go there here with the same of uh, the same installment of the program. Of course, the topics will be different, but of course, we still go there here. Football Made in Ghana on CCTV. Like I thought, this will be the only show where they discuss the personal Ghana football issues in Pigeon. So next Wednesday, we go meet up. Many, many thanks for watching. Thanks to everybody who make the show possible. Lights, camera, sound, production, directing. Everybody will contribute. Next Wednesday, we go come back with another episode of Football Made in Ghana only on CCTV. My name is Nathan Kwa. See you next week. <laughs>